top two, my worst fear. We're gonna stick it like right behind the couch. Our pictures look like they were taken out like Chuck E. Cheese or something. It's a lot of overstimulation for a Thursday night. Ryan's last day is today. Hey y'all, what's up? My name is Sonali. Welcome to a new week in my life vlog. I am finally back in my Austin apartment. I went home to Georgia for a week and honestly it felt like a lot longer than a week because today I had to do a little reset day. Um, this past weekend was Halloween so we got home on Thursday night and then Friday was Halloween, Saturday was Halloween and then well it wasn't Halloween but you guys get it like Halloween festivities and then Sunday we went to a haunted house and just had like a more relaxing day so I went ahead and like power cleaned i literally even cleaned my fridge i feel like i never do that but it looks amazing and i just wanted to clean it up because i also need to go get groceries because we don't really have much in the house ryan is here still he's here till friday and then he goes back to georgia but i'm gonna see him in like what two weeks probably because then thanksgiving and then the holidays so like honestly long distance has not really been like true long distance because we've seen each other so much which i'm very very thankful for it was not like that in college if you guys didn't know ryan and i did long distance in college i went to ucf and he went to uga so it wasn't like too far but you still had to take a plane ride um so yeah we tried to see each other like almost every other month or every month i can't really remember now i was planning on catching up um on bachelor in paradise because i am so far behind last week we had so many like random family the volley parties and just stuff to do so i couldn't watch bachelor in paradise so i wanted to catch up on that but ryan wanted me to come and play golf with him well not me play golf but go just on the golf course with him and ride in the golf cart so i think that's what we're gonna do and i'll take you guys along we're at my home course riverside front nine's closed we're gonna play the back nine twice today why so they're over seating what they're over seating what's that and they plant in the grass for like Hmm. This winter. Interesting. I feel very sleepy. Am I allowed to take a nap? No. What? Why? That was my favorite car. Stay awake the whole time. Ryan. I was gonna walk for free. He says he was gonna be able to walk for free, but I wasn't gonna come if we were gonna walk. There's no freaking way. I actually do have a lot of TikToks to film, or not film, but edit, <laughs> um, from when I was back home and stuff. So I'll probably do that while I'm just chilling. We got. What is it, 18 holes? Yeah. AKA like 500 hours. You want last one to grab it? How'd you do? Uh, I didn't finish all 18. You didn't? No. Why? Just some people. Um, at 10 over through 16 or something. Just Ryan, something. we don't know what these words mean. Golf people do. <laughs> Comment below if you're a golf person. Golf girlfriend. Wow. We don't know what we want for dinner. Ryan, do you know actually what you want? I want to make you happy. It's between In and Out and sushi, but we always have sushi, so. Okay, what's heads and what's tails? Since we're here, is his head. Okay. Tails is sushi. Siri, flip a coin. It's tails this time. Okay. <laughs> where are we gonna go? You know. I said I? sushi was tails. I know, but where? Yeah, I guess. Try to travel. Do you hate me? You can't tell me like an hour ago. <laughs> Sorry. So I was inspired by Michelle Reed's um, like last sponsored Instagram reel. I'm honestly not even sure if this is the same brand, but to be honest, I just picked up the first one I saw on Amazon and that was the cheapest. So um, she kind of like put it behind her couch and I thought that would be super cool for like movie nights or just, you know, because I've been wanting to get a lamp somewhere here. I just thought this could be a really cool like lighting ambiance because we always have these lights on, but it's just like too much when you're watching a movie. So let's put them on. Okay, we're seeing if they work first. <gasps> Whoa, okay. All right, <laughs> it's Christmas. Got a little crazy. 
What in the world? <gasps> Ooh. Why do some not work? Or do, am I going crazy? I think they all work. I'm gonna change the colors. I want it to be like a yellow. I think I need to get the app or something. Is an app for this? I think so. We're gonna stick it like right behind the couch so it looks vibey. Just strip off or measure out how much you need. And then we cut it? I guess. I'm sure. Looks cool. Mm -hmm. You gotta come up here though. What? You can pull it tighter because that's the outlet right there. What are you saying? Oh. Like right there. Right above this thing. Oh. Come up. Yeah. Right above those. He's cutting it. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, baby, that's scary. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, guys, it actually looks so freaking cool. I'll link it below because I just think this look is so cool. Like, this could be like a really cool practical Christmas gift, right, Ryan? Mm -hmm. Happy Tuesday. It is currently 2 p.m. and I just got off a really quick phone call with like Teladoc. Um, because I wanted to get a refill for my birth control for it turned 26 and I don't have insurance. So excited for that guys. So freaking pumped as you can tell. <laughs> I literally want to have a birthday party just mourning my, my insurance that's paid for because <laughs> I'm a freelancer. So I don't actually, even in my corporate job, I was working part-time for them. So I never even had their insurance. I always had my mom's. So yeah, when you turn 26, kind of get kicked off the plan which sucks because I've heard insurance is not very fun to pay for like I think Ryan pays like almost $300 which I don't know if that's like super expensive or super cheap but that does not sound cheap to me every single month especially like I you know I would like to think I'm a more healthy person but I know that things can happen and you do not want to like be without insurance for example a car accident like please just knock on wood um, because car accidents are probably top two my worst fear. I'm gonna have to pay for it, but you know, it just sucks. Adulting sucks. So I got that crossed off my to-do list and I really wanted today to be like a filming day and for me to put on makeup and you know film a lot But that changed when I saw the weather because I get really really affected by like the cold weather and also just like cloudy weather i it just makes me not want to do anything which i feel like that's everyone um but more like filming and stuff because i feel like the sun just like makes me happier um and i feel like for like tiktoks and stuff not that i'm like being fake but you kind of do have to like enhance yourself and like be super on on the camera um so anyways i just was like mm, today might not be the day but i feel like that's how every day is gonna be here on out because it's getting cold and i'm just not loving it and then daylight savings is happening next whatever sunday and i'm just like no because as a photographer well sometimes it's nice sometimes it sucks because especially for family photos or obviously pretty much everyone works like a normal job and they can't just get off work and do a shoot at like 3 30 because the sun sets at like five so usually like i could start at like five and end at seven or like you know six or end at 7 30 or whatever um but now i'm gonna have to be doing more weekend shoots if i want to shoot families and I hate shooting on the weekends guys I just don't love it because I like to be like more open for like social stuff if it ever pops up um and I know that sounds stupid because this is like my income but I am very very grateful that I'm able to you know kind of not shoot on the weekends um last night we watched the nightmare on elm street i guess the 2010 one and it was actually really good of course i fell asleep though but then i woke up for when it all goes down at the end um but i still liked the movie i feel like that's like an issue i have is like literally falling asleep where the movie is just dragged out a little too long and then waking up for like the climax but i liked the movie it was pretty good and then there was like fireworks outside of our apartment like pretty freaking close so we had a fireworks show and I was like, this is cool, but Sophie was going through it last night, y'all, because she, one, hates fireworks. She gets so shaky and just, like, hates them. And then there was a huge thunderstorm, like, randomly at night. And I even woke up out of my sleep because, like, I kind of felt like I was in the scary movie when I heard that. Because the movie is about, like, people 
not falling asleep because Freddy Krueger comes out in their dreams. So like, anyways, I heard that noise and I literally woke up like almost like so scared. <laughs> and then I couldn't go to sleep because Sophie was shaking next to me. I was like, oh my God. <laughs> anyways, today I'm just doing some admin work. Um, the one thing that sucks about that is that I feel so much more productive when I am filming because I know exactly what I'm filming and like what I did that day. But when I'm on my computer, I'm multitasking. So one thought will pop into my head and I immediately have to do that unless I'm gonna forget it. I could write it down, but then I'm gonna like procrastinate it. So I like have to go do that thing. Then I have to go back to this and then I have another thought and I have to go do that. So basically I just do like a whole bunch of stuff on the computer and then like by the end of the day i am just like was it even productive like what the hell did i do i couldn't even tell you what i did i am going through like my running to, like life to-do list um and just kind of trying to cross out as much as i can i told you guys that i just had a call with teledoc so i got some birth control um and i'm really curious to see how much birth control is like if I don't have insurance, I think I can go ask the Walgreens when I'm able to pick it up. Um, but let's see what is on the list after that. I need to book our New York stay. And I was going to try to collab with like hotels. But honestly, every time I've done it, it just like is more stress than like you think it is because you need to like get all these assets for the hotel for the collaboration so you almost can't enjoy your time and especially because it's around holidays and i might be like vlogging more or you know just doing more holiday content i don't want to like stress myself out with that especially because hotels don't usually pay creators you just get a stay for free which definitely adds up but the deliverable sometimes that they ask you know is way more than just to stay so sometimes it's just not worth it i just don't even know where to stay in new york i'm going right after thanksgiving we're gonna see the rockefeller tree lighting which is so exciting i'm like terrified though because everyone's saying it's super super cold in december in new york and i'm like break i need to buy like a nice like parka like puffer you know because i don't really have like longer puffers i feel like that will be like really nice to have um but anyways, what else? Oh, I sent um, my website designer a bunch of like updated things this morning. Um, so I sent her over like FAQ questions, some more um, photos for the gallery, and then some reviews that I want her to put on my photography site. And I'm getting a little stressed because I've had some people um, like DMing me about next year's grad sessions, but I want my website to be done before I like, you know, promo them, but I should have been promoing them like literally maybe in September and it's now November and I'm getting a little stressed. Um, but I'm very grateful that I'm already getting people interested. And um, I don't know if you guys know, but I have a photography TikTok that I'm trying to like, you know, get up and everything. And I had a viral TikTok on that page. And honestly, it's just even more fulfilling on that page because it's like a new account that I am starting up. So um, it's just like a super simple TikTok, which now I'm gonna just do way more like simple TikToks because I know that does well. Um, but it's just like a grad pose one and it got over 500,000 views. And I literally gained like almost 300 followers from that on my photo account so if you guys don't already follow me on there definitely go check it out i feel like this is just me rambling on for so long i hope you guys like this because sometimes my family members i won't say names but <laughs> they say i talk too much i'm like but they like hearing me talk i am going to actually edit my own week in my life this week um i've had an editor for i think the past month and the issue is, is that I'm pretty much eating the cost of hiring an editor because I don't really make a lot of money on these YouTube videos like at all. And since this week was a lot less busy, I was just like, maybe I'll just try to edit it like every single day, like daily. So it's not a big stressor at the end of the week to get it up on Sunday. I know it's worth it to hire someone because I get so much time back in my day. There comes a point where it, it does get like a little bit expensive and I kind of, you know, sometimes have to cut back or at least when I have the time, I could edit my own videos. So, okay. 
that's enough rambling for now. Um, I'm currently wearing this Aries hoodie Sherpa thing that is going to be my new emotional support jacket. <laughs> and I'm gonna edit the week in my life. Um, I Good morning guys, it is Wednesday and having an earlier start to the day than yesterday which honestly is a good thing because if I sleep in a little bit, actually no I didn't really sleep in that much but just this rain and cloudiness makes me want to be in bed all day and just not do anything and we have another day of that but I'm not going to let that stop me from doing obviously my work. <laughs> I mean luckily I just made yesterday like an admin day so fine but today I want to film because I got a lot of stuff done yesterday which makes me feel good but I'm up early today for um, a meeting with my account manager I'm not actually sure what it's called but she is with like to know it LTK and we're just gonna go over some holiday strategy and I feel like it's nice to like talk with these kind of people especially from the brand or like the platform that you're on because no one knows better than them so i'm hoping to get a lot of tips and hopefully a little bit of motivation but i don't know i just feel like these past few months i've been banking a lot on motivation when i just really have to be like disciplined about all this stuff and i'm low-key freaking out because everyone already has posted like gift guides and i usually publish them around black friday so i'm like shoot i also put on my workout clothes so that after this call i can go straight to the gym and have no excuses i think i just want to like walk on the treadmill and like plan out my day that is like one of my favorite things to do if you guys have like a little bit of time in the morning maybe like 15 20 minutes just walk and plan it just feels so good you feel like you're getting shit done you are you know obviously exercising a little bit something's better than nothing and i really want to get back into exercising my birthday is actually this month it's my birthday month um my birthday's on black friday this year november 25th last year my golden birthday was on thanksgiving but anyways i just want to look good and like a little bit toned for my birthday and just like in general i just really need to get back into working out so i'm gonna go to the gym after i just got off the call with molly and it's honestly so fun just catching up um because i've had a couple of these calls before and then we just went over holiday stuff they added a lot of new features for creators to the like to know app um so she was kind of running through all that which was really helpful because i've seen it on the emails but it's just definitely helpful to hear it like from someone who's actually you know talking directly to you um so i'm going to definitely be working on that um but i'm going to get my ass to the gym on the treadmill and maybe i can do some like to know it stuff on the treadmill i actually love just updating like stuff like that my amazon storefront and i'm so lucky that a lot of the stuff is like through mobile apps and can be done on your phone I just finished my workout and the whole time I was just kind of going through my camera roll and deleting a bunch of videos literally from like college and I only got up until this year's February so I still have a lot more to go because only this year I really started taking like so many vertical videos so I don't know when I'm gonna do that maybe like tomorrow when I'm on the treadmill I'm definitely gonna start like going through my camera roll weekly after I like get this whole like audit done Oh my god, I just need like more storage on my phone and I refuse to use iCloud Photos because you have to like wait for it to download and like, I don't know, it's just like funky and I don't really want to deal with that. So I'm just needing a little bit more storage, especially because my whole job is like video content now. Lovely, it takes so much storage. Um, but Ryan actually got some breakfast tacos from Pueblo Vieja and actually is it Vieja or Vieja? I don't know but it's near Flitch Coffee. And I get the Don Chago. It's like bacon, beans, avocado. Honestly, I didn't really think I liked beans, but this taco is so good and very, very filling. I wish I had some juice, like orange juice. I still have not gone grocery shopping. <laughs> and I really didn't do that today, but I don't know if I'll have time. I feel like I say that every single day. I'm vlogging on my phone right now because my camera's in my office and ryan's currently on a call so i can't really get it at the moment got ready and while i was getting ready i filmed a makeup video for like instagram stories and tiktok but then i looked back at the footage and it just like did not look how i wanted it to look so i'm 
deciding if I should like take that time to edit it and post it and see how it does or if I should just like scrap it and like refilm tomorrow because I should have done it in natural light but Ryan was in there taking a call so I did it in the bathroom and just like the lighting wasn't very flattering to be honest. I just went to Yoroko and picked up some hand rolls. I think I'm slightly addicted but also it's just like such an easy lunch because it's like five minutes away and i'm also getting my sushi fix in they taste so freaking good they do close at 2 p.m though so i put my order in just in time because it's literally like 157 and my order was ready at 145 or something so i was like okay i'm just gonna run and get it um but i definitely recommend to get the sake toro the hama toro and then the marfa is my favorite one if you guys are in austin definitely check them out um like i said it's a good lunch spot i do think they're open for dinner they're in like springdale general which is like this kind of like i don't even know like almost like a food hall but they have like a bunch of random stuff like restaurants i think ryan's barber is in that place so they just have like a bunch of small businesses in there but i'm gonna eat this and then i'm going to film a bunch of tiktoks I definitely got a later start in the day because I wasn't really expecting to be on the treadmill for as long as I did, but when you kind of like go through your camera roll and start deleting stuff, like you don't want to stop because I know it's going to be hard for me to like start back up because it's like a dreaded task, but I think I will make that my treadmill task until I'm done with it. So bon appetit i'm so excited to eat i'm getting ready to head out for a family shoot in westlake usually i don't drive like too far outside of central austin but there was an address change at the last minute and it's during traffic time so wish me luck but i just packed up my bag and we finally put our duvet cover on the bed it's actually been weeks since i was just sleeping with the blanket because i was too freaking lazy to put my cover on so now it's on we finally have like a full set on the bed um but it is currently about to be four the place is 30 minutes away and i don't know i just get anxious that i'm gonna be late because i never want to be the one to be late you know place i'm meeting one of my friends from high school for dinner i love catching up with old friends and she's actually i think she lives in fort worth now but she's in austin for the week so we wanted to get dinner and we chose this place on the east side called makoko and i'm actually really glad she picked this place i like sent her a bunch of options on instagram and this place has just really good tacos one and two they have really good churro donuts <laughs> Hi, I'm here with Sana, and I just got this, what's it called, watermelon margarita, spicy watermelon mint. And I think I've had it before, I remember liking it. And then we're gonna get some tacos and ceviche. <laughs> you wanna take the first dip? Sure. All right. Oh gosh, how do you do this? Okay, here we go. Got the donuts. I'm so excited. Happy Thursday. It is a big day because I am finally getting a Costco card. Ryan got a membership like earlier this year, right? Mm -hmm. Or like a couple months ago. And he got a card, but now that he lives away, we need separate cards. So I love getting like just like bulk foods. Obviously, that's what Costco is for. Like the biggest salmon you can find is like $40 and you can like freeze it and it's just like easier that way and I feel like you could save a lot of money. I think I've only been there like twice when we had this Costco card so there's probably so many hacks that I can look up to like really save some money. Um, so I'm definitely gonna do some research on that but let's head out and get my Costco card. how massive this pumpkin pie is and it's only six dollars that's nuts okay look how big the salmon is and it's like be i guess as cheap as 45 dollars but there's like so much salmon in it so you can like freeze it
We got my Costco card. Our pictures look like they were taken out like Chuck E. Cheese or something. But I definitely need to still go to like an actual grocery store. I need oat milk and like, you know, Costco. I don't really like Trader Joe's for that stuff. I'm just need to go to my good old H-E-B. They had so many good deals. Like they're, the muffins that we got, they were, two people were like, you sure you don't want the second muffin? Cause it was like free if you got the second. And I was like, I literally, I, I can't eat it. Like he's leaving tomorrow and I didn't really even want all those blueberry muffins. I just wanted like one. And then there was like a sauce that I wanted, but it was like in a two pack. Obviously I know Costco is for like bigger families and all that kind of stuff. Anyways, got my Costco card so I can finally go out without Ryan. But here's the fit for tonight. I have no idea where this jacket thing is from. Um, it says it's from English Factory, but I don't think that's where I got it from because I think it was gifted. Um, but then I'm wearing this Babaton short sleeve bodysuit, my Abercrombie white denim, and then my Birkenstock dupes. We're going to this like grand opening for shuffleboard place. I think it's on Rainy or like behind Rainy. It's on Red River, but it looks like it's like pretty much on Rainy Street. So I haven't been to Rainy in so freaking long. Definitely need to go back before I literally all get some knocked down. I mean, all my favorite bars have already gotten knocked down. When I was deleting all my camera roll videos, I came up on a video of my friends and I at Bungalow. If you are in Austin, you know. Bungalow was like the best bar on Rainy and I got sh like, well, knocked down. Anyways, we're gonna go head out to this event. They said they had like light bites and drinks, so I'm kind of curious about the food situation, um, but I'm also really just looking forward to chilling on the couch tonight, lighting my new candle. I just got a new candle in the mail from Candle Delirium. I, I purchased it because my dad actually had this candle burning in his house when I was home. It smelled amazing, and I'm so excited to like do the little first light. So I'm gonna do that tonight, and I'm not really sure what we're gonna watch on TV, but we'll try to find something. for a Thursday night so we're right on Rainy and Ryan has not seen Rainy since everything got shut down I've been Rainy like a year probably yeah we like don't really go out here that much anymore like I feel like we stick to west or six or east <laughs> We just got home from the electric shuffle place and it was actually so much fun. I didn't think I would have that much fun to be honest. Cause I mean like we've played shuffleboard at bars before and I don't really know how to play. So that's like the only reason I was like, eh, I'll just go. I think she lost one match. Yeah, no, like I think our teams won like every single time and it was so much fun um, because the whole board is Wait computerized yeah. like it, it captures your score so it actually tells you like who's winning and like all that kind of stuff it's super like innovative like that so fun like seriously so fun drinks and food were actually so good i think there were like two things on the food menu that were like average but like everything else was so so good howdy sophie ryan gave her a bath today so she looks Just very nice also i trimmed her up this morning She's um i trimmed her butt Okay, it doesn't need to look cute. No one's staring at Sophie's butt. The and then I trimmed her, <laughs> and then I trimmed her paws a little bit. So now she looks a little chunky up top, because Ryan wouldn't let me cut off anything else. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, we had a lot of fun at that place. So it's like, like I said, right on rainy. I think I said that. Um, so definitely go and check it out. Apparently they have a really, really fun and good brunch deal too kind of want to get my friends to do it now. Good morning, it is Friday and it is a super rainy day here in Austin. I really wish I knew this yesterday. I should definitely look at the weather for the whole week, like on Monday and 
make sure I set my content days on the most sunny days because I was really, really banking on having a content day today, but it's literally, well, it doesn't look that dark out, but it is really, really dark out. I mean, like my whole apartment would be lit up by now. And I always like to film like TikToks and all that kind of stuff with like really good light. So I'm gonna have to wait till tomorrow, but no big deal. I just put a load of laundry in. Ryan's last day is today. I think I have to drop him at the airport at like six-ish. Um, so we kind of have the whole day. We got to work a little bit. But first, we're going to get breakfast at this new place in town. It's called Proud Mary's. And it's giving me like two hands vibes because I think they're from Australia too. Their food looks really good. And it's like a coffee shop too. We just got home from Proud Mary's and it was definitely giving me two hands vibes, but I think I definitely prefer two hands over this place. I feel like the seating arrangements were a little like interesting just cause it was like more of a, well, some of the tables were more like, how do you say like communal tables, yeah. like shared tables with some chairs that like didn't have backs. And I was like, mm. like, especially if I'm at a sit down like restaurant, the least that I want is like a freaking seat with a back on it. Um, I mean like the food was like not bad, but I also feel like it wasn't like amazing. I just turned on the heat for the first time this season. How exciting. Um, like I said, it's like super rainy out today. Oh, and <laughs> Ryan's flight got canceled. When were you supposed to leave? Like 7.30. 7.30. Yeah, and I think it's supposed to be like really, really bad rain later tonight. So he tried to get another flight, um, but this one's like a connecting flight going to Nashville and then Atlanta. Um, so hopefully that one doesn't get canceled because he's trying to make it home for the Tennessee game. I'm actually a little bit excited <laughs> to be alone again and just get shit done and like really like reset. Cause I feel like I didn't really have like a true reset when I got home cause I was with Ryan and like, we don't really buy groceries and you know what I mean? Like I feel like if I'm alone, I can really do it like fully. Anyways, um, I wanted to show you guys my candle that I was talking about yesterday, I think. This thing smells so good. It's raspberry and black vanilla. I could only find it on Candle Delirium. I had never heard of it before this. Why is this like not working? There we go. You love a candle. I think I'm going to set up shop on the couch and do another admin day since it's not really great lighting to film, like I said. Um, I'm also doing some laundry and then... I want to work on my gift guides today so that they can go out a lot earlier. I usually publish them around Black Friday and I just feel like I need to do them a lot earlier this year. So I think I'm going to work on that today. It's time, bros. Sophie's very upset. Are you going to miss me? Yeah. Are you missing? me? Yes, but I'll see you in like 10 days. <laughs> kiss. It's almost four and I'm back home from dropping Ryan off to the airport and then also running the HEB because I am out of like a lot of essentials, AKA like toilet paper, paper towels, all that kind of stuff. So I got all of that and then just some like more healthy groceries, I would say. I have some frozen salmon already and then some frozen chicken. I just feel like I need some like fruit and veggies to be honest, um, cause I haven't been eating the best oh and then i got trash bags too and i ran out of oat milk and i got this one it was the extra creamy so i'm really excited about that to try with my chai and matcha and then i got this orange juice i'm like an orange juice stand right now <laughs> And I got a Topo Chico because tomorrow we're going to Worst Fest in New Braunfels. And I've never been, but my friend went last year and she loved it. So she kind of organized it all. Apparently there's a bus that takes us from downtown to New Braunfels. And Worst Fest is kind of like this festival kind of thing. I don't know. She was just like, oh, they have food, beer, wine, all that kind of stuff. I'm kind of scared because I don't really like beer and I also don't love wine. I definitely prefer liquor and I'm not really sure if that's going to be there or maybe they'll have seltzers. That would be nice so I could like be consistent, you know, because <laughs> I don't want to like get a random like hangover in the middle of it because we're going to go from like three to nine. Um, 
So I need to like make sure tomorrow morning I like take Sophie out for a nice long walk and like get all her energy out. Apparently it's finally going to be a little bit chillier tomorrow, which might be nice to go and walk on the trail. Um, but I was just in that furry jacket outside and it it was like raining today so i thought it would be cold today but it's literally 82 out right now i was sweating getting all my groceries out of my car i'm not really sure like what meals i'm gonna be making necessarily but that's okay at least i have somewhat of a stocked fridge i don't know if you can tell it's like actually sunny outside right now it's like not raining i think when we were at breakfast it was like the only rain of the day and ryan's first flight like i said got canceled and now he's going on a um, flight from here to Nashville, Nashville to Atlanta, but the Nashville to Atlanta one just got delayed even more. So I feel really bad for him um, just cause like, you know, it's not fun to be in an airport, especially alone, that's not fun. I was gonna wash my hair tomorrow and do like air wrap curls, but I think I'm actually gonna just wash it tonight cause I feel like I just need a shower after sweating. Um, but I wanna put in a hair mask because you know, I have the time and I feel like now that Ryan's gone, I can do like my little self care stuff. Um, so I'm gonna be using this way thick hair mask. And then I think I'm going to also use this Redken Extreme Length one. I don't know if it's gonna, you know, perform magic on my hair, but kind of hoping so. Honestly, my hair's gotten so freaking long. I like saw a picture of me like taken from the back and I'm like, holy crap. <laughs> Cause it looks longer in the back than it does the front for some reason. Also, I feel like the dye, the last time I dyed my hair darker, it definitely held on better so just a heads up if you dyed your hair and bleached it and like you have balayage and then you want to go back to your natural color you might have to tone it a couple times for it to actually like grab onto your hair because it did fade like pretty fast i feel like the first how many times did i do it maybe two times the first time it was like so quick that it was like just back to brown. I know the Sephora sale is going on until the 7th, which is the 4th, and I think this video is going up, let's see, the 6th. So if you guys are still like wanting to shop the sale, I actually just posted an updated makeup routine um, to TikTok and stories. It's the same like video, um, but it's on my Instagram highlights, so I just saved it to there. Um, and I linked all my products that I use on an everyday basis. So if you guys are interested in that, definitely go um, head over to my Instagram. It's so underscore gnarly. I like my hair masks. I can never get them like to spread out very evenly because I don't want to like, you know, use so much of the mask. I'm like always so greedy with them. But I want my hair to feel super nice and soft. I'm definitely gonna focus it more on the end so I feel like that's where it really needs the help. My friend told me to start watching the show Tell Me Lies. I think it's on Hulu. I might start it tonight but I literally just went through my subscription box on YouTube because I feel like whenever I'm with Ryan, especially now that like we're long distance and we don't just like live together, I don't really watch YouTube just because I'm you know, busy with work or hanging out with him. Um, so I saw so many videos that I want to see on my subscription box. So I was like, damn, I really wanted to watch the Hulu show, but I can always like wait for that. And I feel like with YouTube, especially cause I watch mostly like vloggers, I like want to stay updated with their lives, you know? So like, it's not like I can watch it like two weeks. I mean, I guess I can, but it won't be as relevant two weeks later, if that makes sense. So I think it might be a YouTube night. I'm just gonna go in the Redken. Where should I put this? This one's a little less thick, which honestly I kind of like because it's easier to spread out. Oh my god, Redken products smell so good. They all like have this distinct smell, but I've actually used Redken all soft shampoo and conditioner all of like middle school and high school because my mom just would buy it for us. And I love that smell. And honestly, just like the shampoo, I have it in there now. I'll leave it on my hair for like, I don't know. I always say like 15 minutes, but then it turns into an hour somehow. I wash my hair. I haven't styled it just yet because I want it to like air dry mostly, but I just opened one Amazon package. It's this top and it's kind of giving like reverse 
Meredith from the Parent Trap Vibes. I feel like it's a very like trendy pattern right now. Um, and I did see that they had like a black, mostly black, and then the accent was white, but I think it's still sold out. It's pretty much just like a sports bra. I got it in the size large and let's see. It, yeah, it does have adjustable straps and I just feel like it's very flattering. I'm just wearing my set active leggings on with it. I feel like today I've been snacking a little more than I would like to and I realized I feel like I just need like some protein. So I defrosted my salmon and I think I'm just gonna do some salmon and then I bought this quinoa salad from Costco when I went yesterday. Um, so hopefully this fills me up and <laughs> keeps me from snacking. But I also want dessert because I got creme brulee from Costco and I'm very curious on how that will be. So kind of want to make that for dessert and treat myself. Okay, we're going to do some garlic powder, actually a lot of it. I love garlic. I really don't know what to season salmon with to be honest, but we're doing some paprika. I forgot I had this like Creole seasoning. I think I'm just gonna put a little bit of that. I just packed up like the other pieces of salmon in little plastic bags so I can just freeze them and take them out whenever I want. Dinner is served. I feel like that was so easy, especially because the quinoa salad was pre-made. <laughs> but I got this, um, what is it called? Olipop a while ago. And I didn't drink it because the one I tried, I just did not really like. This is the vintage cola one. I'm not sure if I'll like it better or worse, but we'll find out. It's not bad. I feel like I definitely prefer poppy over Olipop. I'm not sure if they're even really the same thing. I think they are like more digestive health drinks. I definitely like Poppy. The Rosé or Strawberry Rose one is so good. It kind of tastes like Coke. What is the lighting doing and why is it so pink? Okay, I'm gonna enjoy this, watch some YouTube, and who knows where the night's gonna take me. It is creme brulee time. I have been chilling on the couch watching tiktok and then also one of my photo clients sent me her favorite um photos from the gallery so i went ahead and edited those which made me feel really good so i don't have to worry about that this weekend um but this is what it looks like and it has a little sugar packet and you can um like crystallize the sugar in the oven but I actually have a torch because I had a phase where I literally made creme brulee all the time, like at least weekly. So I remember it was like during quarantine when I was really into like baking and stuff. Um, and I just also really like creme brulee. So here we go. I'm gonna spread it out evenly if it comes out. There we go. I think creme brulee is probably one of my favorite desserts, especially to get out like a restaurant. It's just so good and creamy, like always hits the spot. But like, I feel like restaurants try a little too hard to make it like different flavors, like chocolate creme brulee is disgusting. <laughs> I don't know why people even try to make it like different because it's like so good on its own. Whatever this sugar stuff is, it's magical because whenever I just pour over white sugar, it takes forever for me to like blow torch it. So I'm very curious, but okay. Now we have to wait for like two minutes to let it cool and then we can try it. Can't wait the full two minutes. So let's dig in. I think this one's a little too eggy almost, or maybe it just needs to like not be so cold. Also, I like the cream part to be a little bit more sweet. I feel like just because this top sugar is on, I feel like some people make it really not sweet, but I feel like the top sugar is not enough sweetness for me. I'm sad to say I'm a little disappointed. I'm gonna end the vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys are interested in seeing real-time content, go follow me on Instagram and TikTok. It is so underscore gnarly without the G. And I will see y'all in my next video. Bye.